Freeman pulls up. Harlins with the follow. In this game at the line. Time, time to go. Here's Arledge. Got to be careful with those four fouls. Puts it in with the left toe. Arledge pulls down the rebound with some eventful play. After. Here's Freeman a step inside the foul line. Off the back rim, but Arledge puts it through on the dunk. Guy that started off red hot his first game. He had a double double. He slowed down offensively somewhat. But he gives him a lot, as you see there on the boards. Freeman pulls up. Harlan's with the follow. Freeman do win it. Where they won it was on the defensive end. By the Monarchs here tonight. And there goes Harlan's breaking free. For the X. And he's been the focal point. He's the vortex of their attack. I mean, they're, they're, they're right all over that. Pressure set up after the make. The Monarchs get this. the one bad shot that airballed. But other than that, he's been content to make good passes. Harledge with a nice spin move. Very there to try to clean it up, but it wouldn't go. That if you're Gary. Now Freeman, a quick first step. Oh, great delivery. no look pass. Harledge again. Oh, my goodness. A turnover. Taylor got his hand on the pass. Back to Arledge, another one. Up to nine for the Hill. Topics. Important stretch for Old Dominion. Arledge. Jump up coming. And around it in over. Now with the basketball for the Monarchs. UAB gold jersey's really packing it in. Yeah, that time on. Side Mosley with it. Mosley. Looks like the Miners are in a gimmick defense. Here's Arledge with it. Arledge turns, hooks one up, and he scores. Left in the second overtime. And Rice leads UAB by three. Right into the lane comes Arledge. Turns, hooks one up, scores. And I think Hooper Vint fouled him again. Score averaging 16 a ball game. This Out Freeman. Front. Speedy Smith matchup is going to be key for this game. Number four, Speedy Smith, one of the best guards in the nation. We'll get into some of his numbers later on, but they are incredible. Arledge backing in. And the big guy. To control the basketball. He's the point guard at six foot five inches tall. Cambola missed to Bunny inside. Now Arledge. Too easy so far for the Monarchs. We can get this just an experiment in the NIT. And I think the coaches like the restricted arc expansion more than they do the shot clock. But we'll expand on that as we continue into the game. Arledge with that little baby hook. Close to him. Right now he's keeping an eye. Jordan Baker who stands at 6'2", nearly a foot taller. Play a lot of zones, some man-to-man. -man. Arledge had a great first half. Misses to start the second half. Gets his own rebound. Same skill, length, and size. In transition. Offensive rebound to Taylor. And Arledge. only reads November, such as the Paradise Jam. 3.18 to go in this half, in this contest, presumably a one-point game. Baseline, Arledge, all oh by his lonesome. Foot on the line, he still hits. Georgia State, a team that lost to Iowa State by 23, but that's no shame. Cyclones are... Would like to extend their defense more often, but you've got to make baskets in order to get your press set. Big matchup right there. Freeman against Perrier Henry. Arledge steps outside and he drops. Ball game coach. So Set the stage now. Charlotte can 
Get some stops. Energy is picked up on the defensive end for sure. Arledge comes back. That'll silence. 18 points right around his average, and he's done it a variety of ways. Guarded by Edward Simpson. Out to Arledge. He'll pull the trigger. Open from three, and he nails it. Baker comes to the dribble around an Arledge pick. Baker right side of the lane. Baker now on the wing to Baycoat. Baycoat to Arledge, corner of the key. His jumper on the way is good for two. Palmore veers toward the left wing side. Now whips it out front to Arledge. Arledge, Miners appear to be straight man. Yep. Left side, Palmore. Palmore comes toward Our the lane, shadow. out front to Arledge. Another three ball coming, and another three. It's not a broken record, but it's the least. Effective defense with the Bucks have played. Hot, he's high. He is not the best athlete in the world, but he certainly does maximize his 6'10 frame. He's the best low post player in this game. Three pointer. He's on the offense. He's the hungry, they want to score. And if they can't score in the half-court set, or they can't score in the conversion game, they're sending three, sometimes four, to the glass. Great interior passing. So and flow. Dominion that has taken over this game. A little bit too shy. Nice rebound by Clark. Baycott gives it up. <laughs> Baco finds the open man. Arledge. Over that, they do a great job cleaning up some that we see people getting away with night in and night out. Inside, great entry pass to Arledge. His first score of the night. Second chance opportunities, both of which Fremo three. So how valuable is that? Ross to Arledge. Arledge going to his left. Illinois State wants to walk out with the upset. The win. You got to make sure the second shot doesn't beat him. Arledge from the free throw line, working on Jones, slides his way to the basket. Taking the place of Freeman, who's on the bench. Arledge has been quiet here as of late. He gets the ball, and right on cue. Let's hope he's smart enough as a senior. Douglas leans in, gives it up again. Arledge able to fight and hunt. Minion is impressive. What a challenge shots at the top. Well, it's almost like you're watching the Virginia Cavaliers on the floor. In a way. There's a good shot. tonight defensively because they run those guys off screens the Monarchs do. Now you get the center stepping out to shoot threes and getting the roll is Jonathan. Double figures. Smithers is going to be a guy who averages double figures for them because he's and he's an efficient basketball player. What was uh, Coach Christian saying that it might have four or five? Defense! Defense! Said the first half, if they just even have an average shooting night with their defense, with their ability to get their misses, yeah. they are very tough to beat. Well, they've only lost twice, but so far tonight, not an average shooting night. That's a great pass. Runs down the long miss. That can wear you out. Emotionally. A long rebound like that and a fresh 35 after playing hard defense. A fatigued team as it is. And then he's such a quick elevator. And he has a great release. There's Fan again being very aggressive. Got it inside, but Arledge says not half. And Louisiana Tech on the ropes with just ticks left at North Texas. Chance to pull into a uh, 
a tie for the top. Conference USA. Rozier banks into Down here a while. Buford for Rozier. And turned away by Arledge. Lee swatted away.